So big game for the Lions this week as they head down to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. So yeah, the two top teams in the North and their respective conferences respectively. The top team in the NFC North and the top team in the AFC North battle it out, a.k.a. A battle of the North. So let's take a look at this matchup against the Ravens and see how the Lions fare for this week. So, of course, entering this game, um, the, lot, the point spread, it has Baltimore favored in this game over Detroit by three points. So, Detroit are three-point underdogs entering this game. Uh, Baltimore, they lead the all-time series over Detroit 5-1. to one. So, Baltimore has had Detroit's number since, well, since Baltimore got relocated from Cleveland to, to where they are now. And, oh, by the way, Baltimore is 3-0 and against Detroit all-time in Baltimore. Like all three times Baltimore and Detroit have played in Baltimore, Baltimore's won all three times, and all three times the games weren't really that close. The scores in those three games consisted of 19-10, 48-3, and 44-20, all in favor of the Ravens. So, yeah. Um, Detroit, of course, so far this year, they're 3-0 and on the road this year. Baltimore is 1-1 and at home. So yeah, Detroit looking to keep their undefeated road streak alive. So let's take a look at this game, at the matchup for this game. So of course, that quarterback for the Ravens, of course, is Lamar Jackson, aka Running Back Jackson, since Lamar is more lethal with his legs than his arm. Um, for the Ravens, though, um, they are without J.K. Dobbins as he's on the IR with an Achilles injury. But they do have Gus Edwards and Justice Hill. The receiving core, you got names like. Nelson Aguilar, Rashad Bateman, Odell Beckham Jr. You got Devin Duvernay and Say Flowers. And at tight end, you have Lamar's number one throwing weapon to the tight end, Mark Andrews. Um, the defensive line is anchored by Justin Maddie Buke and Michael Pierce. You also got Brovick Washington in there. Linebacking core, they are without names like Tyrus Bowser who's on the NFL IR reserve list with a knee injury. He also, they don't have David Nojabo because he's on the IR with an ankle injury. And um, O'Day Foe, he is questionable for this game with an ankle injury. But they do got some other linebackers in there, you know. Mainly the linebacking core held down currently by Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen. Two very good linebackers. And, of course, Roquan being a former Chicago Bear. And Roquan's fit pretty well in Baltimore like a glove. Um, for the secondary, um, Marcus Williams is questionable for this game with a hamstring injury, but they do also. But they got two places anchoring that secondary down, mainly Marlon Humphrey and Kyle Hamilton. So some pretty good playmakers on that defense. Um, the head coach of the squad, of course, is John Harbaugh, uh, Jim Harbaugh's brother. He also got an offensive coordinator, Todd Monkin, and a defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. Now, for the Ravens' offense, it is the 13th-ranked offense, and that's a really a tale of two different sides of the offense. The passing game is where this offense struggles, no surprise, as the passing offense is ranked 24th, but they're a top-five unit running the ball as they're ranked 5th in the running offense. Oh, boy, a running, a running back quarterback who struggles passing but has no problem running the ball? Color me shocked. But the real reason the Ravens are where they are now, other than just Lamar running the ball with his legs, is their defense. As once again, the Ravens' defense looks elite, as they are top five defensive unit overall, ranked fourth. They're not they're the number two unit against the pass. But the real the weakness on this defense is really their defense against the run, which is a top ten unit still. But it's their weakest point. It's their defense against the run is ranked tenth. So even though the Ravens' defense is elite, there is somewhat of a kink in that armor of theirs. But yeah, that usually seems to be a theme with the Ravens. Usually an offense that tends to struggle a bit, but they always have an elite defense. They've had a, like, an elite defense nearly every year of their franchise existence, though, to be honest. So I think to win this game, though, the keys are very simple, you know. I think for the defense, I think you got to establish the run game. You know, it might be tough, though, because David Montgomery is probably out for a little bit after his rib injury against the Buccaneers, but Jameer Gibbs could be back this week. They even signed the Lions, even signed a couple deck chairs off for the, for the, from the practice squad here. Because, yeah, you know, injuries is just getting tough, you know, but, hey, you know, next man, step up or step aside. 
But you know, got established run because the best way Lamar can't do his damage on the field is if you keep him off the field for as long as humanly possible. So establish the run game and control time of possession. And really, to beat the Ravens offense... Oh shit, my glasses just fell off. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, to beat the Ravens offense is pretty straightforward. You just gotta stop the run game because it's been shown before by other teams. If you stop the Ravens' run game, you stop that entire offense dead in its tracks. Because without that run game, the Ravens' offense is nothing since Lamar usually struggles throwing the ball. So, you know, establish the run game and stop the Ravens' run game. Then the Lions can win this game pretty hand pretty good. I don't know, I do have some doubts, though. Like, I mean, for the Lions, they've been good at stopping the run all year. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think they can stop Gus Edwards and Justice Hill. Stopping those two is one name, but stopping a Lamar Jackson, that's a totally different ballpark. Plus, the Lions have tended to struggle against mobile QBs this year. Just look at Seattle this year. They've done a good job of containing some of the mobile QBs. They even struggled at points against Kansas City and Mahomes. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a big challenge here. And plus the Ravens defense, this is gonna be the best defense Jared Goff and the Lions offense go up against this year. And yeah, the Lions defense has been good at stopping the run so far this year. But keep it, let's be honest. They're bound to have a bad game at some point. The Lions have looked pretty good so far, but you know, they're bound to have a bad game at some point. I mean, if the Lions want to show that they're serious about being the number one seed in the NFC, then they have to win this game. It's going to be a struggle, though, because Detroit has always struggled in Baltimore. Like, no matter what the Lions do, they never can they can never win in Baltimore. Like, they're 3-0. and They're 0-3 in Baltimore all time. Just, like, the only time the Lions beat the Ravens was back in 2005 at Ford Field. You know, not going to be an easy game. I know stretch in the imagination. going to be a tough game. In the end, though, you know, there are just some teams you match up well against and some you don't, to be honest. I just don't think the Lions match up too well against the Ravens. Like, I think the Lions are due for a bad game at some point. I think it's going to come against the Ravens. Like, I think this is going to be the Lions' worst game of the season. Now, don't get it wrong. I'm not giving up. I'm not being one of those SOL daft dipshits. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but I think the Lions are going to struggle in this game, and I think the Ravens are going to win big in this one. I got the Ravens winning by a score of 28-17. to 17. I got Baltimore winning by 11, so I'm taking Baltimore plus the points. But just keep this in mind, folks. Before you get in the comments and get pissed and say boo, hear me out. Remember, there's only been one instance this year where I said the Lions were going to lose a game, and that was week one against Kansas City. Lions ended up winning that game. Plus, if you pay attention to my picks, every time I've usually picked a team to win by double digits, they usually end up losing. Just look at last week. I, last week, I picked the Eagles to beat the Jets by 12 points. The Eagles lost to the Jets. Take that information however you will. Who knows, maybe I'm just jinxing the Ravens by picking them to win by double digits. But yeah, I mean, I mean, do you honestly blame me though? The Lions have always struggled in Baltimore. Like every game, like every game the Lions have played in Baltimore, Ravens have won by at least nine points or more. Just, you know, the Lions just always struggle in Baltimore. Don't know why. Like, I'm not sure if it was built on one of Edgar Allan Poe's horror scenes. From his books or what, but just the Lions can never beat the Ravens in Baltimore. Nothing more and nothing more. Just the Lions always struggle in Baltimore. There are just some teams you do well against, some you don't. And just for whatever reason, the Lions never do well against Baltimore. And to be honest, the Lions should have won. Yes, the Lions should have won that game a few years ago against um, Baltimore in Detroit when Tucker hit that 66-yard field goal. But, I mean, you know, I think the main reason ways the Lions can win this game is if you stop the run game, establish the run game, keep them off the field, and maybe hope to God, my glasses fell again, damn. Anyway, as I was saying, though, and may we hope to God that the Ravens play down and make this game more competitive than it probably should be. But yeah, this is going to be the Lions' first real test to see if the Lions truly are for real. 
because you're probably facing one of the top teams in the AFC and probably a team that might be on the way to winning the AFC North unless the Cincinnati Bengals get their shit together. Not going to be an easy game. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but, you know, I always take it realistically, and I feel like the Lions, I look at the Lions' schedule, I don't see them losing that many more games, but I think this is going to be one of those games the Lions lose. Plus, on a four-game winning streak, I think the team and the fan base get a little too high, and a little hyped up, too hyped up. I think this is going to be one of those games where the Lions and the fans get sunk back down to earth a little bit. But, yeah, just not a lot of confidence entering this game. I got the Ravens winning big in this one. I'm hoping I'm wrong. But, you know, just looking at history, I may or may not be. We'll have to see. But anyway, as much as much as I'm hoping the Lions get the win this Sunday, just a lot of things that just don't make me 100% confident going into this game. Always said MCDC and the kneecap biters, prove me wrong. <laughs>